Material recover facilities, or MRFs, are where recyclables go after they leave the curbside bins. The MRF sorts, processes, and bales these recyclables to be shipped to manufacturers. First, all the materials are unloaded and placed onto a conveyor belt in preparation for sorting. They then fall onto an inclined screen and are sorted by gravity and shape. The paper products travel up the screen. While the paper products travel up, containers fall back and through the screen onto a new conveyor that takes them to their next step in the sorting process. This process isn't foolproof. Workers sort out trash and misdirected recyclables by hand. This lessens the amount of contamination in the final recycling load. The paper products are dropped into a holding container that waits at the end of the conveyor, then bailed. Plastic bags are the number one problem at a MRF. While they are recyclable, a MRF can't process them. Take plastic bags to a grocery store and they will take care of recycling those. The containers that previously rolled down and through the screen begin the next step with super strong magnets that attract steel. They pick steel products up and move them to another conveyor that delivers them to their appropriate holding container. Magnets don't attract aluminum, so it's sorted through a kind of reverse magnet called an eddy current, which shoots the aluminum products into a catch bin. Next, the heavier glass falls into a pit, while the lighter plastic materials float onto the next conveyor belt for further sorting. The now broken glass, called cullet, is then shipped to a glass recycling facility. Sometimes plastics are manually sorted, but more and more this is done through optical sorting. This means the plastic is scanned and sorted by puffs of air into groups of type and color. Number one plastics are taken out of the process, stored, and bailed. Plastics the scanners don't pick up are further sorted by workers into specific groups. Plastics not removed during this process fall off the end of the conveyor into a pit to be shipped to plastic manufacturers. After all the materials have been sorted and processed, except for the glass, they are bailed and can weigh anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 pounds. Manufacturers buy these bales and create new products of that recycled material. Find out more at RecycleMoreNC.org.